So these are old antique 1890s opera glasses and we're going to refurbish them, well restore them. Also I'm going to try Wright's Copper Clean. So we're going to do the Wright's Copper Clean on the right side, get it right, <laughs> and then the flits on the left and I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison. Now take a look at these. You see these tubes? Look how dirty they are. They're supposed to be shiny. Like I started working with flits right in this spot and it's supposed to be like a mirror finish. All right, so let's begin. I'm gonna start with the rights on the right side with a cotton uh, pad, and let's see how well this stuff works compared to the flits. So let me get my cotton pad. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually dip the cotton pad, whoops, sorry about that. Yes, bloopers, there's always bloopers. I don't have a stand. <laughs> for my camera, so of course that's gonna happen. All right, so I'm gonna dip this in here. So we got some on the cotton uh, pad. And let's see how well this works and how quickly. This is actually working quick. All right, I'm gonna actually dip my finger in there and put a bead of it on here. There we go. I'm gonna rub both of them the same length of time and with the same amount of pressure. Look how fast that came, right? And I can uh, actually continue to do more applications to make it shinier. All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna try the flits on a cotton pad as well. And let's see which uh, works quicker and works better. So I'm gonna put a little bead of the flits on the cotton pad right here. See the blue? All right, let's begin. Okay, so far, what's superior is rights. Did you see how fast rights started to work? It's not even taking a dent. The flitz is not even making a dent on this. All right, let me put a little more. I'm going to put a bead of it on here. All right, let's give it a try now. So I'm giving them equal opportunity to work. Nothing. Okay, Superior is the right copper cream. Now it says copper cream, but it works very good for unglazed brass also. So right now I'm gonna give, so far Wright's Copper Clean an A plus, and I'm gonna give Flitz a B or a B minus. You saw it. You were a witness, so now we know what works. <laughs> so I figured I'd show you the after product after um, using the Wrights polish. Look how gleaming these antique opera glasses are. They really, really, really look so much better. They look uh, very, very sparkly. Um, and I have to admit, even though the flits didn't work as well, it actually is a very, very good cleaner. I do recommend you buying it anyway. I use it for a lot of my antique metals. As a matter of fact, it cleaned this antique clock that was black as the Ace of Spades. Um, there is a video showing you me cleaning this, but um, I had to say in this case, the Wright's Copper Cream actually worked way better and way quicker. Um, the flits, if I gave it more elbow grease and I gave it more applications, the flits would have worked fine. But the problem is, is that I didn't feel like working as hard and the rights actually did the job quicker and uh, did an exemplary job. So, but that's not to say again that I don't recommend the flits, but it got a B minus in this instance and the rights got an A plus. So once again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all soon. So long.